always be like, you know, bitches need mommies too. Because you got a lot of females out here that didn't have a mom. Mm. And that's where madams come into place. Mm. That's where the bottom bitch comes into place. You know what I'm saying? Like your main bitch is really supposed to be the one that's helping you guide a bitch. And you're Korean, Korean and black? Yeah. Okay. And so when you were dancing in the club, I know guys probably thought, oh, she exotic because she's half and half. You know what I mean? Did you ever feel that or did you ever get that? Or you was just like, bitch, I'm a regular, regular old girl. No. You, you know what? When I was dancing, um, I think I danced for like three weeks. Oh. It was short. It was short. You was like in and out. You was like. <laughs> it was a three week dance. And then uh, one of my friends, we had known each other for a long time. And she was like, girl, you know, there's a massage parlor down the street. Like, I want to turn you on. So she turned me on to that. We was getting money. And then uh, within the three weeks, I ran into my folks that mm. turned me out. And shit, it was over from there. Like so, so for the for the general public, people who watching, who's not you know familiar with the term, when you say folks, you mean like a pimp, or you mean like a management? A management. We won't even just say no pimping, but we gonna say management. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how did he turn you out? Like, what was it about him that was like, okay, I'm a, I'm a fool with him? Um, he showed me, you know, like how to really get some money in the right way. You know, there's way, there's wrong and right ways to do it. So he showed me the right way. Okay. And what what is, because I don't, for me, that world, it seems so foreign to me. Yeah, right? it's a you know secret society. Yeah. We got our own shit. Like, it's our own, it's like a gang. You know what I'm saying? Once you get jumped in, like, you're forever a part of this gang. That's why when people be like, I'm done with this, da, da, like, no, baby, you're forever going to be a part of this gang unless you was just a bitch or, you know, a simp-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's forever going to be in you. So that's why when I be talking to females, I'm like, why are you so mad? Why are you mad? Because the game chose you. Mm. And you chose it, you know? Yeah. Like, embrace it. Because yeah. everybody don't have this game. And everybody's not chosen for it. Yeah. And here's one thing that I want to dispel, this little misconception. I feel like just from, just from one day, hanging with Rallo, Big Fig, AP, like, I got so much... Just gang, just hanging with them for one day. Oh, shit. Like, just just listen to them niggas talk. It was like, I could see why a woman would be compelled to kind of, like, follow their lead or take their knowledge or take their wisdom or listen to them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. to, to, to follow what they was doing. I was like, I could see why. You know what I mean? I don't know. I wouldn't hear that day. So <laughs> I don't know how it went down. <laughs> <laughs> so because uh, it was just like, but I know how they get to popping they shit. Yeah. yeah, like for real. Yeah, I do and know. so I was like, I could see why somebody would. And for most people, pimps are like the like the scum of the earth. But I'm like, these dudes are smart dudes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they got a plan. They can figure out what they want to do. They making money. You know what I mean? I feel like any young girl or any girl period who's misguided or don't really know what she want to do. Well, I feel like that's why I call P's management because, you know, every business has to have a, a the chief. They got to have some management. They got to have the direction. You mm. know, in order for the show to keep going, you got to have, you know, the structure. When I've been doing businesses, because I run a, a salon, so it's got to have titles to everybody. Everybody's got to play a position. Mm. to make it work yeah but if everybody's doing the same position it won't work somebody got to be the leader you know somebody yeah. and, and nine times out of ten men are the leaders yeah you know mm -hmm. so you know you're gonna follow lee and i rather I, I feel like women follow lee better with men in general because kind of like you know let's say friends do you have any daughters yes I got three daughters. So I know that they react different when you say something versus to when their mother says something. When you tell them, hey, this is what we doing, 
this is what we doing. But when their mother tells them something, it's kind of a little bit more of a, uh, uh, you know, like, why I get, but when daddy come and say something, they own it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same way. But I always tell management, I always be like, you know, bitches need mommies too. Because you got a lot of females out here that didn't have a mom. Mm. And that's where madams come into place. Mm. that's where the bottom bitch comes into place. You know what I'm saying? Like your main bitch is really supposed to be the one that's helping you guide a bitch or the newcomers, mm. the newcomers that come on to the team. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that one that you been, you know, putting down and been by your side and the one, right. That's the one that's supposed to be down. They supposed to be riding it out. They supposed to be like, daddy, you know what? I'm your assistant manager. Mm. You know, if we want to go to corporate America, we're going to, this is your assistant manager. Then you got the lead. And this is when she going to lead, she going to help lead the, the newcomers too. But they going to, they like, oh, we like Christina or we like, we like Kelly, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, shit, we're going to bring in some more, some more little Indians. And however you play your role is how you play your role because everybody can get, you know, knocked off their shit. Just like you could get fired and somebody else get you know, recruited. Yeah. So I look at it more as a business. I really do. You know, people have households and families and all that stuff when it comes to this business. But I've always looked at it as business. You know, I feel like a lot of people get their emotions caught up. And in this game, there's no emotion. There's no emotion. There's no love. There's none of that. It's strictly business. We came here to get some money. We didn't come here for the love. Mm. We didn't come here to, to oh, I need, it was none of that. Like, we can't, the, the main objective is the reason why this man is dealing with this woman and this woman is dealing with this man is what, for the stability, for money, maybe they might have had some issues with a place to live, you know, uh, stability. Like mm-hmm. I said, like, it's a, it, it all boils down to someone not being able to care for themselves. Mm. Because when I got with, you know, my management, I was in a, a messed up situation of just getting my life together. You know, like, I had my daughter early. You know, my family really was, like, you know, not fucking with it because I had her so young. My mama was, like, you know, only thing I know is, you know, basically what her mama done did, you know. And so it was, like, there was no structure. And once I met my management, He was like, you know what, you got so much potential. You have so much potential to do so much. And the first thing he told me when I got in this game, they're going to hate on you, China. They're going to hate you Mm. because you are top notch, and I'm going to make it even better. You cool now, but I'm going to make you so fly and so much better, they really not going to be able to fuck with you. And that's why I only dealt with 1P. My whole entire career. Really? He gave me too much game. I didn't need to go hop from, you know, because I be having people ask me all the time, well, you know, where your folks at? You know, where he at? And I'm just like, I only needed one. Mm. I chose the right one. You know what I'm saying? I didn't choose somebody that needed me to uh, guide them. A lot of girls, they choose someone that need help. It's more like, I'm broke, so I need some help. We could go get this money. It's the way. It's fast money. So I can I can use you to get to where I'm trying to get to, but they really don't be having a plan. Mm. Yeah. And it is mostly like young girls, right? Well, I, well I was young. Too? You know, I was 20 when I got into the game. So, you know, I just feel like, the guy that I chose, he was, like, 35 when I was 20. Mm. So he was already in the game, like, years and years beforehand. And what what is it, once you, because I know what you said, once you got with him, he showed you some game. What is what is that first time turning the trick feel like? What Like, what, can you walk me through your first time? 